Good morning from Michigan Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station update. Joining us here inside of the flight control room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console monitoring this orbiting laboratory. Team today being led by flight director Paul Dye there in the blue shirt. Joining him at the Capcom position is John Mackin, serving as the communication link between all of the controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 34. Currently in a six-man rotation, they're being led by NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, currently on his second space flight. He's there in the front row on the left, and right behind him are two Russian cosmonauts who flew up with him on his Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft back in October. They are Russian cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin, both rookie space flyers. On the right side, we have our three newest crew members on board the International Space Station, who docked back on December 21st. And they are Roman Romanenko on his second space flight, second long-duration expedition on board the International Space Station. Also in the uh, front row there is Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield on his third space flight, a veteran. And then all the way on the right there, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn rounding out this crew of six. Fairly light day for the astronauts on board today. Uh, Expedition 34 Commander Kevin Ford was checking out some of the re uh, relief valves inside of the clean bench. It's one of the experiment facilities inside of the Japanese Kibo module, Kibo being the Japanese word for hope. He will also be holding a conference a little bit later in the day today with a fellow NASA astronaut, uh, Chris Cassidy, who's slated to launch with the crew of Expedition 35 and 36 uh, a little bit later this year on March 28th. Meanwhile, our three Russian cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Tarelkin, and R Roman Romanenko, are enjoying a day off today, an off-duty day for Russian Christmas. They were given uh, some free time, and they're uh, celebrating on board. Moving on with the rest of our crew, Canadian Chris Hadfield was collecting some biological samples for the human research facility and then storing them inside of the Melfi, which is the minus 80 degrees laboratory freezer. It's used to store a number of biological samples and different experiment samples at cryogenic temperatures in order to preserve them until they're eventually transferred back down to the ground. He's also doing a periodic uh, health status check. All these biological samples and health status checks uh, done as part of the human research that goes on board the International Space Station as we continue to look at just how space flight affects the human body over long durations of time in order to uh, better preserve and combat any of the negative effects of weightlessness. Our final crew member, Tom Marshburn, also a NASA astronaut, was uh, working alongside Hatfield today, collecting some biological samples of his own and storing them in that Melfi freezer. He's also doing a what's known as a reaction self-test. He'll do a number of these throughout his increment on board the International Space Station as they continue to monitor any changes in his reaction times and uh, mental acuity. Again, just part of the ongoing research on board the station as we continue to look at how it affects uh, the human body. And also, one last task a little bit later today, some of the ground controllers here in Houston will be maneuvering the station's robotic, robotic arm of the Canada Arm 2 in order to shade the alpha magnetic spectrometer on board the International Space Station. Uh, this being done as the station flies into what's known as a period of high beta angle where the sun presents uh, some of the harshest thermal conditions on the station hardware. 